pinapadali natin ang pag-aaral ng mathematics. At dito rin, direct na natin na pinapakita ang proseso ng pag-solve ng mga equations or ng mga given numbers. For today's video, ang ating tatalakayin ay ang pagmumultiply ng fractions. So, let's start with our first example. So, dito hindi na tayo nagpapakita ng mga problems dahil ang pinapakita na natin ay ang direct na pagsusolve ng mga given numbers. So, for example, number 1, what is 2 thirds times 3 fifths? Okay, in multiplying fractions, Mas madali ito kaysa sa addition and subtraction. Dahil kahit na dissimilar ang ating fractions, pag sinabing dissimilar, magkaiba sila ng denominator. Kahit na magkaiba sila ng denominator, pwede tayong direct na magmultiply. So, how do we multiply fractions? So, kapag simple fraction lang, walang halong whole number, we will just multiply the numerator by the numerator. So, it's 2 times 3. Then, we will also multiply the denominator by the denominator, which is 3 times 5. Now, let us proceed. What is 2 times 3? The answer is 6. All over 3 times 5, the answer is 15. Since our answer here is 6 all over 15, pwede pa natin itong isimplify o i-lowest term. So, saan ba natin pwedeng i-divide si 6 at si 15? So, kukunin lang natin ang kanilang GCF o yung tinatawag natin na greatest common factor. So, may mga videos tayo na pag-aralan na natin kung paano kumuha ng GCF. At alam na rin natin na si 6 at si 15 ay may GCF na 3. So, ibig sabihin, i-divide natin si 6 by 3 and 15 by 3 para ma-lowest term natin sila. So, 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2. All over... 15 divided by 3, that is equal to 5. So, our answer here is 2 fifths or 2 over 5. Ngayon, may shortcut para hindi na tayo maglo-lowest term sa dulo. Umpisa pa lang, pwede na tayo mag-simplify ng fractions. And that is through the use of cancellation. So, buburahin muna natin yung 2 fifths. So, lagay natin sa dulo. Tandaan natin, ang sagot natin dito ay 2 fifths. So, ngayon, gawin natin ang cancellation process. Tingnan natin kung magka-come up tayo sa parehong sagot. So, 2 all over 3. Ito yan ha, kakopyain lang natin. Times 3 all over 5. In cancellation, Pwede tayong mag-cancel ng numerator and denominator. Pwede rin cross-cancellation. Kung meron tayong nakikita na common factor sa kanila. Pero hindi pwede yung numerator sa numerator at denominator sa denominator. Pwede lang natin gawin mag-cross-cancellation or yung numerator and denominator. Okay, so ang pwede natin i-cancel dito ay ang 3 at 3 dito. Dahil ang GCF nila ay 3, pwede natin silang i-divide pareho sa 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, pwede na tayo ulit mag-multiply. 2 times 1. All over 1 times 5. 
At ang sagot natin dito, 2 times 1 is equal to 2 all over 1 times 5, that is equal to 5. So, dito, sa cancellation, hindi na natin kailangang mag lowest term sa dulo. Dahil ang sagot natin ay nakasimplify na. Okay? Next example natin is multiplying a fraction by a whole number. So, halimbawa, ang given natin ay 3 all over 5 times 4. Okay. So, paano natin to i-multiply? Si 4 ay whole number. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay maglalagay tayo ng denominator na 1 kay 4. So, ibaba lang natin. 3 fifths times 4 all over 1. So, dito, nag-insert tayo ng 1 as denominator. Bakit? Kasi, hindi natin dito masisira yung property ng equality. Dahil si 4 all over 1 ay katumbas pa rin ng 4. So, nagdagay tayo ng denominator para makapag-multiply tayo. Kasi in multiplication of fractions, we multiply the numerator by its by another numerator then the denominator by another denominator. So dahil meron na tayong denominator dito, pwede na tayo ulit mag-multiply. So 3 times 4 all over 5 times 1. And 3 times 4 is equal to 12. All over 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Dahil lang ating naging sagot ay improper fraction, kailangan po natin itong going mixed number. So, meron na rin tayong lesson kung paano ito going mixed number. So, i-divide lang natin si numerator by its denominator. So, 12 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Subtract 12 and 10. 2 times 2 minus 0 is equal to 2. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ang ating sagot dito, etong 2 ang magsiserve na whole number. Our remainder will be the numerator. Then, etong divisor natin na 5 still will be our denominator. So, our final answer here is 2 and 2 fifths. Next example naman natin is multiplying a fraction. For example, 2 thirds by a mixed number. 2 and 1 fourth. So, how do we multiply a fraction and a mixed number? So, in multiplying mixed number, kailangan natin yung scale ng changing mixed number into improper fraction. So, meron tayong video kung paano natin ginagawa yun. So, for now, i-apply natin yung natutunan natin sa ating previous videos. So, let us now change 2 and 1 fourth into improper fraction. So, paano nga natin ito ginagawa? So, let us now change 2 and 1 fourth into improper fraction. So, paano nga natin ito ginagawa? We will multiply the denominator by the whole number. So, 4 times 2, then add the numerator plus 1 all over the denominator, copy lang natin yung 4. So, let us now proceed to the process. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, plus 1, that is equal to 9, all over 4. So, si 2 and 1 fourth ay isa ng improper fraction, which is 9 all over 4. So, let us now rewrite our new fractions. So, ang multiply na ulit natin ngayon ay ang 2 thirds times yung improper form ng 2 and 1 fourth, which is 9 all over 4. 
O, ngayon, gagamitin na natin yung process of cancellation. So, C2 at C4, pwede natin silang i-cancel. Kasi sila ay both divisible by 2. Yung GCF nila ay 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is equal to 1. 4 divided by 2, that is equal to 2. Then, si 9 and 3, pwede rin natin i-cancel. By dividing both of them by 3. Dahil ang GCF nila ay 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So, now, pwede na ulit tayong mag-multiply. Numerator times the numerator. That is 1 times 3. Denominator times the denominator. That is 1 times 2. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Okay. Ngayon naman, sa so final answer natin, improper ang ating naging sagot. So, ibabalik na natin siya sa kanyang mixed number form. So, paano natin ito gagawin? I-divide lang ulit natin si numerator sa kanyang denominator. So, let us now divide. 3 divided by 2. Ito yan, 3 divided by 2. So, 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Subtract, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. So, our new mixed number here is, itong 1 natin dito, ang ating whole number. Ang ating remainder na 1, ang ating magiging numerator, at ang ating divisor, ang denominator natin, ang magiging denominator pa rin natin dito. So, our final answer here is 1 and 1 half. For our last example, we will now try to multiply two mixed numbers. So, for example, 2 and 1 fifth times 1 and 1 fourth. So, ano nga ulit yung una natin gagawin kapag magmumultiply ng mixed numbers? Siyempre, laging babaguhin ang mixed number. It should change into improper fraction form. So, si 2 and 1 fifth. Kapag ginawang improper fraction, 5 times 2 plus 1. Ito yan. 5 times 2 plus 1. All over, copy the denominator. So, the answer here is 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1. That is 11. All over, 5. The next naman, I see 1 and 1 fourth. 1 and 1 fourth. So, paano natin gagawing Improper fraction si 1 and 1 fourth. So, ganun pa rin. 4 times yung whole number na 1 plus the numerator 1. All over, copy the denominator 4. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1. That is 5. All over, copy the denominator 4. So, Ang ating mixed numbers ay meron ng bagong form, yung fraction form nila. So, si 2 and 1 fifth ay magiging 11 over 5. Times, si 1 and 1 fourth ay magiging 5 all over 4. Ayan. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Meron ba tayong pwedeng i-cancel? Si 11 at si 4 ay walang GCF. Pero si 5 at 1 ay merong GCF. So, si 5 and 1, ang GCF nila ay 5. So, we will divide 5 by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Then, let us now proceed to multiplication. 11 times 1. And then, 1 times 4. What is 
11 times 1. That is 11 all over 1 times 4. That is equal to 4. So, since ang ating sagot ay improper fraction, kailangan ulit natin itong ibalik sa kanyang mixed number form. So, we will divide 11 divided by 4. So, 11 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. So, ang bagong form ng ating uh, mixed number dito or ng ating improper fraction ay itong 2, ang ating whole number, ang 3, ang ating numerator, ang 4, ito yung 4, siya pa rin ang ating denominator. So, our final answer here is 2 and 3 fourths. So, maraming salamat mga bata sa inyong panonood ngayong oras na ito. Nawa, marami tayong natutunan. Hanggang sa muli! Sa muli